In their careers, most pilots will fly multiple classes and even types of airplanes. Each airplane will display its own unique set of operating characteristics that the pilot will learn to master through practice and a keen sense of awareness during flight. Every day, you and the instructors and students take on the challenge of safely participating in the transition of the UND Aerospace primary trainer fleet over to the Cessna 172. They're finding that while this new trainer is docile and predictable, it still can present some very unique challenges for even a seasoned pilot. This safety bulletin is focused on making you, the pilot, aware that under certain conditions, it is possible for the Cessna 172 to be manipulated in such a way that the pilot can over-rotate either during the takeoff rotation or the landing flare and cause the airplane's tail to strike the ground, resulting in what is known as, well, a tail strike. Tail strikes can be costly. They can damage your aircraft and cause a loss of directional control during takeoff or landing. Based on recent data, most tail strikes occur during the landing phase. A tail strike on landing could be caused by many combinations of weather, weight and balance, runway conditions, and pilot technique. Tail strikes seem to occur most often as a resulting failure of the pilot to maintain a stabilized approach from the beginning of the approach phase all the way down to touchdown. Sometimes pilots elect to continue unstable approaches because of the desire to stretch a glide or save a landing, which usually results in a final touchdown attitude that becomes too extreme and lowers the tail to within inches of the runway surface. Add to that extreme pitch angle, the designed flexibility of the Cessna's landing gear, and you and your aircraft are left in a situation that could result in a mild or even significant tail strike. As referenced on the Cessna's PFD, tail strikes tend to occur at an approximate 12 and a half degree pitch up attitude. This pitch attitude could be even less when factoring in landing gear flex during hard landing. In order to reduce the risk of a tail strike on landing, you must first ensure that landings are only executed once a stabilized approach has been established and maintained until the landing is complete. A stabilized approach will cause the pilot to initiate a flare over the pre-planned aim point and to touch down predictably and at a safe pitch attitude on the pre-planned touchdown point. Airspeed must also be monitored throughout the entire approach with the goal of meeting your computed reference speed as your airplane crosses the runway threshold. During the flare, you can also use the end of the runway as a visual reference to plan your round out. Rotate enough to allow the nose of the airplane to raise and appear to touch the end of the landing runway. This amount of pitch should be enough to let the airplane settle to the runway in a normal attitude far from any risk of a tail strike. Flight instructors must be vigilant with their defensive positioning and look for signs of a student departing from a stabilized approach or perhaps over-rotating in the flare. It is critical that if a student fails to recognize a situation requiring a go-around that you, the instructor, take prompt action to initiate the go-around and relieve the airplane and the student of a potentially hazardous flight condition. No pilot should attempt to save a landing. Use the go-around option as a way to apply a measure of safety to every approach. As a response to this tail strike risk, UND Aerospace has installed flexible tail skids on all Cessna 172s in its fleet. This skid is designed to minimize the damage caused to your aircraft in the event that the tail actually makes contact with the ground. Ask just about any pilot and they'll tell you that the landing is certainly the most enjoyable and fun part of any flight. Just remember that the landing phase is a very critical portion of the flight where pilot judgment and experience play an important role in the final outcome of the landing. Use your judgment as the pilot in command to make each landing safe and predictable. Do everything possible to avoid tail strikes on takeoff and landing, and impress your passengers not with your ability to force every landing, but with your ability to execute a smooth go-around so that the next landing can be great. For further information on this UND Aerospace Video Safety Bulletin, contact the UND Aerospace Safety Department at 701-777 7848. 
And before you head out for your next flight, as always, remember to have fun and fly safe.